You know what you could do to fight back? Stay out of the system. Don't pay taxes. Don't have a Joe Schmo job. Rip your social security card in 75 pieces and mail it to somebody. You know, as long as we're on corporations for a second, they own media companies, they own newspapers. Meanwhile, they're laughing. They're at a boat in the Cayman Islands with a cigar doing cocaine and underage prostitutes. And if I was to tell you this on the street, you'd look at me like I was the coup. Oh, you're a conspiracy nut. Woo, you're crazy. You know, get out of here, you nut. You're a lone cuckoo puff. You belong in a FEMA camp, you know, this whole thing. All right, uh, I'm ready. Okay. I met Mitch back in 2009. He lived on my block at the time and was making photos under an alter ego he created. I'm not claiming to be a photographer, but I am claiming to be an artist and I am an artist on a mission and that mission is one of positivity, good and enlightenment. And I do it through cameras. His photos railed against the government covered corporate bailouts, conspiracy theories, greed, corruption, and other topics. There's money for war, and there's money for prisons, but there's not money to feed homeless people, and there's not money to fix potholes in the street. It's all this, this is all it is. And you're the sucker that makes it happen because you're the sucker that goes to work every day and pays your taxes and gets jack looted and everything stolen from you. I went with Mitch on a few of his shoots and started filming a documentary about his artist alter ego. Trey Pizzini is about everybody finding their inner artist. Everybody has an inner artist lurking in them, but the Matrix will not allow you to find it because you're worried about the bills and your job and your boss, and how many times you gotta take your Prozac today and how many calories are in the Wendy's. Human beings weren't made to do the time clock. They weren't made to do the same thing every day. Repetition, repetition, repetition. It was a lot of fun having Mitch as my neighbor, like having my own personal Kramer with a pinch of Tyler Durden. Mitch moved out of the neighborhood around 2010 or so, and I lost touch with him for many years. Then a few months ago, I was able to meet up with him during a recent trip to Florida. I haven't seen this dude in at least a decade, so I'm Kind of curious to see him again and catch up and check out uh, his newest uh, photographs and hear how his photos have evolved and his thoughts behind his photos have evolved. Mitch lives in Miami and still creates photos, but now under his own name. Why is it you create um, your art? Why did I start creating my art? Um, getting tired of talking politics all the time, constantly getting tired of, of always talking about the same stuff. I was like, you know, I'm just gonna take a picture. Here's your picture. You know, you can look at it all you want and think whatever, just leave me alone. I'm not gonna argue with you over something that you have no control over, as you, but you don't. It's fixed, you understand? You're watching a WWE wrestling match. Boo, the evil right man, the evil left man. It's a puppet show. You're watching a stage puppet show. The left and the right are fighting dividing and conquering the people, and they're sucking your money. And in the end, who loses? Ding, 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 ding. You. What can you do? Don't pay, don't pay, don't worry. They're gonna send the goons in the black uniforms to come get you. It's all right, you'll be in the FEMA camp and they're gonna bring down their jackboot gods with their black uniforms and little Nazi helmets and tase you. And then you know, you know, all the cops are gonna be like, eh, we gotta tase this guy. He ain't paying his bills. Yeah. And they're gonna tase you up. The left, the right, government, religion, money, are all broke. Please help. Please, please help. Everything is broken. The problem is with society, you have, it's this mass populist idea, our lemming mentality where everybody is going along to get along. Nobody nobody wants to go against the grain. So whatever is the new thing, you know, first it was yoga mats, and then it's the new Mac, and then it's the new, the, and it's just like, you have a society that's based on material items, and whatever's out now is what, what's out now, and then we forget about yesterday and we throw it away. It's a planned obsolescence culture where everything is designed to fail at a certain time. So you just go and replace another one. So you have this society that really doesn't want to change because they're so happy to get something new that's today, so they forget about yesterday and it fills the void in their life. We're nothing more than consumers. We're nothing more than wage slaves. We're nothing more 
than a percentage. We're nothing more than the label on our clothes, than the kind of car we drive, and how many flat screen TVs we have. The whole world that we thought was a reality is now a fantasy. This is fantasy. The, the reality is not percentages, and reality is not how much stock I have. Certainly, complaints of consumerism aren't new, but it does seem like it's gotten worse. Even in today's culture of ordering everything from the internet, people still wait in line for hours just to be the first to get the newest iPhone. Unboxing videos are thriving online. People literally just open up a box and show the product inside. If that isn't a celebration of consumerism, I don't know what is. So if you had to pick one message you would like people to take away from your artwork, what would that be? Uh, change. Change your mindset, change your thought process, change your actions, just change. Be a better person, stop the BS, you know, live a, live a healthier life, live a better life, do more for society, do more for your fellow animal, man, you know, just be a better person, change. We need to have a new start, a new beginning, and we need to come together as a people and not worry about black, white, this, that, the other thing, we need to break all the barriers and just to come together as human beings, which we can all agree we're all human beings. That's not too hard to agree on. And come together in a big mass, which is why they divide and conquer us so they could be no big mass. But of course it's hard to come together in a big mass because everybody is dumbed down in this society. Everybody's brain is, is being rewired enough for the better. Social media, the Wi-Fi network, the invisible matrix grid that's right here in front of us. Eating fast food with zero nutritional value. You're literally eating the same chemicals that are in yoga mats. The constant flicker rate in your hand, the, the dopamine fix. You can see people are like, you know, the NPC zombies. They're living in this virtual fake reality. And when you approach these, these NPCs in the street, you're like, hey, how you doing today? They just have that, 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 I call it the fluoride stare. They're just, well, they're like, because they're so, they're being reprogrammed. They're not vibrating on this frequency. They're vibrating on another frequency where, you know, they don't have that internal spark. They're, they're living in a, in, a, in a dead world. The average person walking down the street is like a sheeple or a lemming. They don't know the difference between up and down. They just know that they have to go somewhere and be there by a certain time. And if you were to throw them out of that equation, they would literally probably convulse. I mean, it's like they're, they're nothing more than, than creatures being held down by gravity. Break the mold, you know, smile at strangers. I mean, it, it just make people feel comfortable and be the change you want, you know what I'm saying? And do you feel that you're doing that? I'm trying, I'm only human. I try to do the best I can. I, at least I like to think so. I mean, you know, who am I? You know? If you had to boil down Mitch Oof. into one sentence, Eesh. what would it be? Oh man, I don't know. A uh, free thinker, motorcycle lover, conspiracy theorist, uh, out of the boxer. I, there's not, I don't think a sentence would do. I'm out there, man. <laughs> It was interesting seeing Mitch again, and good to see that he's still channeling his thoughts into his artwork. At first, some of what he said sounds a little out there, but once you look into it, it turns out a lot of it is true. I think it's important to remember, not all conspiracies are just theories. If you want to see more of Mitch's work, check out some of his photo books. The links are in the video description. If you enjoyed this video, check out some of my other videos, which cover a wide variety of subjects. If you want to keep up with what I'm working on, head over to my website and sign up for my newsletter.